My name is uh, Craig Feeney, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Applied Engineering Physics at Cornell. I'm a physicist, a condensed matter physicist, a materials physicist, but we really want to get specific, um, who is interested in this problem of materials design and materials discovery. Being able to identify and discover new materials that have the properties that you want them to have. How do we do it? Well, we first start off with a microscopic model of at a very fundamental level, deep down at the, you know, at the level of electrons, if you will, uh, and other microscopic degrees of freedom. What we do then is to start thinking about how to construct a real material that would have those interactions. Everybody has an iPhone or a computer or some, some, some piece of technology that fits in their pocket and they can store every MP3 in their entire library in some very small area. So how is that possible? It's because of advances in, 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 in memory technology, and how we store information. And, and this has sort of exploded in the last 10 years or so. The basic physics behind it is storing all that information in, say, little magnetic bits. What would be truly a, a technological breakthrough, if you will, is to be able to access that information, not with a magnetic field, but with an electric field, a voltage. Why? Because you use much less power when you apply an electric field than you would having to run a current through this bit and to access that information. So this idea of electric field or voltage controlled magnetism has, is a challenging technological problem that could have huge benefits for the next generation or two or three generations in the future of storage devices. Our work is really to take up that challenge and, and to try to identify where this sort of known phenomena, we want to this property or this functionality, we'd like to be able to take an electric field and control that magnetic bit, that information, that one or zero. We're trying to put atoms where we want them so that uh, uh, this model exists in that material, but in a way that makes chemical, chemical sense, that could be synthesized, because our job isn't over until this material is really discovered in real life. What I love about this award is that it's not an award in, just for scientists. My view is it's, it's this award that's celebrating creativity, and, 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 and it's what I, truly drives me in science, is discovering new ways to think about science, and, and new approaches, and getting other people excited about those approaches. No particular end goal, no holy grail, no, if we solve this, you know, life is complete. It's what new ways can we make this journey, you know, and uncover new things.